Alrighty folks, just for people who don't like to read, aren't familiar with Nivit's procedures or simply need this kind of tutorial. To take off from the bone, home you reach out aircraft carrier, a plane must, must be positioned on a steam catapult. You can choose from the existing two on the ship's bow, right the catapult number one and left number two. I choose number two for this tutorial. While you are closing to it, press shift backslash to get flashing helpers showing you where you have to fit your plane's fuselage. You can repeat that as many times as you need. When you are between the helpers, pressing shift backslash again will attach the plane to the catapult. You can abort the launch at any moment by pressing Ctrl A. This will detach your plane from the catapult so you could move around freely. I'm not gonna do it in this tutorial. Instead, I will follow the normal launch procedure that includes checking controls of your plane and scanning surroundings to make sure you cleared obstacles. Also switch the flaps to full down position and retract speed brakes. It's time to apply full power. Let's check if everything is normal as it should be and press Ctrl backslash for action known as a salute. From this moment you basically do nothing but wait for the cut shot to happen. When they finally shoot you off of the catapult you pull the stick and check for a positive climb. Then retract the landing gear and the flaps. This time I'm gonna do a partial left to carrier pattern, which means that at this point I'm already on downwind and should have landing gear flaps and takeoff deployed. Let's do this quickly. Remember, a shortcut for lowering the takeoff in your plane is Ctrl H. Now it's time for left 180 towards the carrier heading. While I'm doing it, you can see my doing a lot of cross checking with the position of the carrier. This is to make sure I know where I'm flying in relation to the carrier and to not overshoot the groove, as they call the last part of the landing pattern, which is aligning your plane to the landing deck. While turning, it helps if you control the descending rate. The idea here is to level the plane's wings at about quarter to half of a mile behind the ship, with the altitude not higher than 200 meters. Also, it is the right time to call for approach, and the shortcut for this is Ctrl Shift F. It will bring you the PIP image with visible flaws. Flaws stands for Final Lens Optical Landing System, lenses in short, and it was designed to help pilots to get on the carrier deck with some additional help from LSO officers called paddles. What you have to do now is to fly the ball, which is the moving orange light you can see now between those static green reference lights. You have to keep the ball in line with the green lights. If the ball is higher, you are too high on the glide slope. If it's slow, you are below the glide slope. Ok, it's time to focus yourself on touchdown. You may perform a little flare while cutting power if you are too fast or a little high, but only to apply full power again on touchdown, just in case you missed a wire. Pull back the throttle and quickly rise the tail hook. Remember the shortcut for that is Ctrl H. Clear the landing area and taxi to the elevator or parking spot of your choice. You can check landing statistics now if you want. Shortcut for this is Ctrl T. You can exit this panel either by clicking the OK button or pressing Escape key. That's all folks. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Fair winds and calm sis pilots. Come on. Let's go.